You know, this time of year, I think we're really thankful for wellies, which protect our feet from mud and puddles and all sorts of yucky stuff that we'll walk through. Now imagine that I had to walk through this mud in my bare feet. Pretty disgusting, right? I wonder who of you watching would come and wash my feet for me. I can't see you, of course, but I'm hoping at least somebody might offer to do that. I wonder if this reminds you of a story, maybe the time when Jesus washed the disciples' feet. Now remember, the disciples didn't have wellies, they had sandals, and they walked through streets that were really dusty and dirty, and they stepped in all sorts of yucky stuff. And it was very customary for them to have their feet washed before they had a meal. Kind of like how we wash our hands before we eat. And usually that was the job of a servant to wash their feet. But in this story, we know that Jesus is the one that offered to wash their feet, which would have been really shocking to them. He was their teacher, he was their leader, he had authority over them. Surely he wasn't the one to wash their feet. So I thought it would be interesting to find out from some of our kids how they would feel if their teacher offered to wash their feet. So let's have a look. <laughs> I'd hate it. Surprise. Um, I would feel angry and and I I just it would just feel tickly and I. And I just wouldn't like it. Mm. Wouldn't that be a bit weird? Weird. But I feel kind of, I that's kind of a kind act, but I feel very weird and strange. I'd be like, who does that? And also, I don't think a teacher would do that. Of course it would be weird, wouldn't it? and it would feel uncomfortable and out of place and we perhaps wouldn't even want them to wash our feet. Even Peter said to Jesus, you shall never wash my feet. So why was Jesus doing this? Why was he washing their feet? He has all authority, he has all power. He has all the freedom not to do stuff like that. If anything, he is the one to be served, not to serve. But what Jesus was trying to set an example for us all is that he wants us to use the freedom that we have in him for good, to use it to serve others. Jesus was showing that nobody is in a position of power that is too great not to serve other people because of course nobody is more powerful than Jesus. So. Whose feet are you washing this week? Not literally, of course, unless you want to, but how are you using the freedom that you have to do good and to serve others? And how are you using your feet to bring the good news of Jesus to others? Because actually that's one way that we can serve others, by telling them about Jesus and what he's done for us. I guess I better go and get these cleaned off. Paul!